It's conspiracy theory time, and today I want to unbox for you what I think is the coolest prepper gadget ever invented. I'm excited. Here we go. What is up guys, Will Workman here with Workman Protection Training, here to give you the skills, the tools, and the mindset to protect yourself and your family. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe down below so that we can get this training past the algorithm. So today I wanna to tell you guys about a company that I am really excited to partner with called Phoenix Thrivers. They sell great quality knives, survival food, and this awesome invention. More on them later. Let's get into this bad boy. It took all of the self-control that I could muster just to wait to open this for you guys. So, so I forgot that they said they were going to send me this. This is a 2400 calorie energy rations. So this is like to have in a bug out bag or to have in your car if uh, stuff hits the fan. Pack a lot of calories and protein in them. So that's pretty cool, but that's not what we're looking at. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. All right. All right, so this is everything in here. Don't worry, I'm gonna tell you what everything is. Dang, this is quality. That looks important. This is a waterproof bag. This is not the invention, it's what's inside of here. I promise I'm gonna show you what it is and you're, it's gonna blow your mind. Oh, it's connected. You're stupid. So this is the waterproof bag itself. And then this is like an additional section of it is the Faraday bag. That is awesome. The outside is waterproof. This is like a dry bag as well. And this is actually a Faraday bag, which means it cuts out all uh, signals and everything protects from EMPs. That's important later. Here is what is inside. This is the tablet. Oh. It's got a fancy little keyboard to set up there as well. I get, ooh, the keyboard moves, that's cool. So you can lean that up, works basically like a little laptop. And then it's got this nice case, closes in there like so. It's got a camera on there, that's cool. And then this is the battery pack. Yes, that looks like the battery pack. Oh yeah. Dang, that is beefy. So here's the solar charger that comes with that. So I know what you're thinking, what the heck is this and why is this little tablet thing the coolest prepper invention? Why, 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 why? But first, if you are new to concealed carry, then I wanna give you something that will really help you out. And that is my free guide to concealment. It's basically everything that I wish I knew when I first started concealed carrying a gun and I want you to have it for free. So go check that out in the description down below. So this little tablet is its own library. What? It has trauma medical information. It has emergency food storage. It has farming books. It has animal husbandry. Yes, that's a real thing. Had to look it up. Apparently, that's breeding animals, which kind of makes sense with the name. It's got law books in it. It's got herbal medicine. So this is basically a full library on everything you need to survive that all fits in this little bag. Ooh. And not only does it fit in this bag, but it's protected from the weather, from rain, from water, from the flood, all of that in this waterproof bag. And then it's protected from signals and EMPs in this Faraday bag that's within this waterproof bag. You shall not pass! So what this awesome technology does is it protects you from an EMP. An EMP is an electromagnetic pulse. This can come from a nuclear attack, it can come from a solar storm, it can also come from an EMP weapon that doesn't have to be a nuclear bomb, which is pretty terrifying. <laughs> Especially when you think about all of the drones that we've seen from China coming over, it really makes you wonder how easy would it be for them to get an EMP weapon over here and just like that wipe out all our communications. Now when an electromagnetic pulse hits, it takes out all electricity, all cell phone towers, everything with a microchip. It's, it's gone. Essentially everything that runs on electricity or on cell phone signal or on internet is done. Everything that is 
except this bad boy. This tablet being in the Faraday bag with the solar chargers in the Faraday bag, not only will it still work, but you can still charge it with the solar panels even when you don't have electricity. The terrifying thing about an EMP is when you really start to think about everything that we use on a daily basis that requires batteries or electricities or microchips. All of our cars, all of our planes, our phones, our laptops, our heating and cooling systems, our ovens, our refrigerators, our grocery stores for crying out loud. Everything that we use on a daily basis requires electricity. This means if you're on a trip with your family and an EMP were to hit, your car would be done, along with all the other cars that are made after the 90s. Or even if you were at home, if you need information on trauma medical training or on emergency food storage or on gardening or herbal medicine or anything like that, unless you've already bought a huge library of that, you're not gonna be able to Google it. You're not gonna be able to go on Amazon and order a book on that. You're not gonna be able to search on YouTube and find it. It's kind of crazy how reliant we are on the internet for all of our information. What this does is it locks in all of the information that you'll need to survive into one place, essentially giving you a portable library to take with you anywhere. Wow. Big thanks to Phoenix Thrivers for sending me this to keep me and my family protected in case of an EMP attack and for partnering with the channel. I'm really excited to share with you guys all that they offer and how they can help you protect yourself and your family. If you gain value from this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And until next time, be alert, stand firm in your faith, be strong, be courageous, and let all that you do be done in love. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I never realized until I started doing these videos that I wear my hat crooked. Like I always thought it was straight, but like that's where it feels natural. That's definitely crooked.